so we salute you. Uh, I want you to uh, follow on the question I asked Ms. Day about, uh, do you believe the U.S. strategy for engagement in Central America has been successful? What do you see are some of the major challenges as, as someone who is going to be in one of the uh, key countries that we are engaged with, particularly as it relates to the movement of uh, unaccompanied minors and others? Uh, Guatemala is one of those. Well, talk to me about what, you've, what your views are on that. Thank you for your question, Senator. This is an issue which I have been working with over the last three years. We have a, a very clear agenda to deal with these problems with Central America and well, with Guatemala specifically. As I mentioned earlier, President Jimmy Morales met with Pres Vice President Trump in Miami and they laid out a plan to deal with the three pillars of our engagement, prosperity, governance, and security. What we are going to be focusing on particularly on the, the drivers of migration are security and the lack of economic opportunity. The prosperity piece is designed to address the lack of economic opportunity and we're focusing it on the Western Highlands where most of the migrants come from. The security piece is absolutely essential because it is, it is a driver of, of, of migration and we have, I think, made significant progress in reducing crime risk, particularly in the areas where U.S. assistance has been provided, which is in, in, in training the police, in establishing community policing, and in working with the, with the NGO community, particularly in the, most, in, the most, uh, in the areas we have the highest crime. And underlying all of this is, of course, our efforts to support President Morales' uh, efforts to fight corruption. CICIG is a pillar of that. This is an institution that we have been supporting for years. We will continue to support because he has shown that he can actually address the problem of corruption in a systematic way. I'm glad you mentioned CC because that was my next question to you. Uh, it has been, I agree, a, a very positive uh, and innovative and successful justice model. But I have heard some alarming reports, uh, including from Commissioner Ivan Velasquez Gomez himself, uh, that it may be coming under pressure from the powers uh, that be in Guatemala. It's been the U.S. Policy, policy to support CC, which has not only been successful at addressing impunity in Guatemala, but also served as a model for other countries in the region. So is it your intention uh, upon your confirmation to be a voice in support of CC on behalf of the administration? Thank you for your question. And the answer is an unqualified yes. CC is a underlying uh, linchpin for our efforts in Central America, in, in Guatemala. Uh, 